This is a First Alert 5 weather alert. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 5 at 4. I'm Allison Zimmerman. And good afternoon. I'm Rob Cork. We continue to track breaking news. Neighbors just now allowed to go back to their homes on the north side of the Springs. A grass fire near Interquest and I-25 forced those evacuation. Again, just lifted that mandatory order about 15 minutes ago. Now, this broke out right around 1230 this afternoon near Shields and the Great Wolf Lodge burning three to five acres. That's how bad it looked at the initial, but thankfully no homes burned. The good news. News News Eric Ross has been covering the fire since it broke out around 1230. He joins us live from the fire line with the latest. Eric. Rob and Allison, good afternoon. We got closer to the fire line now that things are a lot more calm than they were a couple of hours ago. I'm going to step out of the shot so you can see exactly where this fire is believed to have started. We know it was from a welding accident. We don't know if it particularly started right over here, but this is the only business um, that appears to be under construction within three to five acres of where this fire broke out. There are fire investigators on scene. There's still fire trucks on scene monitoring for hot spots, and I want to show you exactly how close this came to homes in the farm community. If my photographer Ryan pans to the right, you could see there are homes less than a tenth of a mile away from where this fire started. Fortunately, no structures burned, no businesses burned. That is the silver lining out of this situation. Now, we just learned that the first call came into firefighters around 12.30 p.m. The first engine arrived on scene seven minutes later, and more than a hundred resources, 125 resources from various agencies immediately descended on this fire to put it out quickly. It was a high fire danger day. We had wind speeds in excess of 35 to 40 miles per hour. It made this fire very, very tough, but because there were so many resources out here, they were able to contain it within a matter of hours. Firefighters tell News 5 that they are shocked this wasn't worse. If you were listening to the initial dispatches, it was sounding pretty rough, and uh, I was really surprised that they were able to keep it from getting into the structures. And again, the silver lining back out here live is that no structures were destroyed. Now, one thing I wanted to touch on here is that I interviewed a woman who actually lives in the farm neighborhood. She tells me she got the notification from friends and family, then got a notification from her HOA, followed by those emergency 911 notifications. So that system did work. But she told me she did not actually have a go bag ready to go. And now is the time if you have not prepared be prepared now. Fire season is 24 seven. We cannot stress the importance of having a go bag because fires can burn in a moment's notice. Again, about five acres, maybe a little bit less burned, but silver lining out here, no structures destroyed. And I'm gonna step out of the shot one more time so you could see firefighters wrapping up their investigation off into the distance. They're gonna be out here for a few more hours, just mopping up hot spots. We've seen a couple trees start smoking again and maybe a couple of flames here and there. I don't see any right this second, but about 15 minutes ago when I was at the parking garage, of the end building just down the street. We did see a tree um, that had a flame coming out of the top. So firefighters are going to be here presumably for the next two to three hours monitoring those hot spots and making sure that nothing flares up. But again, the situation appears under control. And from all of us here at News 5, we want to thank all of our first responders who arrived on scene within a matter of minutes, contained the fire line, and put out the fire. So great work out here. Reporting live on the north side of Colorado Springs, I'm Eric Ross. Eric, thank you. Yes, such great news. People can return home now. And crews